that. A uh, little bit of history for our uh, international viewers. These guys go back and forth. Every single, uh, from uh, even from, from the Wi-Fi era. And uh, at first, MT Cat seemed like a way superior player. But lonely, uh, more times than has been getting him. So let's see. This is probably the biggest stage they've been fighting until now. So uh, let's see how it goes. MT Cat was telling me on the on the travels here something that I hear a lot from Palutena players where they do think Wolf is one of their worst matchups, and it's not like an auto loss by any means. It would be at worst minus one, but they generally don't want to be against Wolf, and I don't have the reasons necessarily. But MT Cat, despite being the one with the with the better set record and the Palutena main, he does not like Wolf, but he'll ha he'll have to deal with it because he fights more salsa all the time. But here is the opportunity for Molsasa to break through the defenses again. We have exactly two players from Costa Rica left in this Costa Rican tournament. By the end of this set, we will only have one. F-Tilt doesn't connect into itself for Molsasa. Very unfortunate that up smash is going to be super punishable. Yeah, and it's a shame that these guys had to meet up at this moment of the, of the tournament, but it was bound to happen anytime. Yeah, the longer you try to delay a set, the more likely it is to just happen in top eight. But that is this correct. is showing exactly why these players are so familiar with each other and why they have a back and forth set record. This is just so even. But the dash attack finally does it for Morsalsa with an early lead. But I bet Empty Cat's going to come straight back in and within 20 seconds it's probably going to be gone. That is correct. Oh, well, not if grab just doesn't work. My bad. You know, I've been in silence for a few seconds because I don't know what could I say that I haven't said before about this matchup and these two players. Like, hey, this is why you need someone like me who's never seen it before, at least with these particular players. Yeah, Funnily exactly. enough, my, my weeklies up in Newcastle, England, they always end with Wolf versus Palutena in the finals <laughs> as well. And I saw plenty of it at Xanadu, but it's just, it's one of those matchups where you're gonna find it everywhere because these are two very good characters with game plans that you can learn in just a couple of weeks and then eventually bring it to the top level. Like these two have only 55% in it. Could go either way, absolutely. We yeah, right and now. right now it seems that Mortalza is doing better. Uh, he's been winning more neutral interaction. However, once you get on that area loop, uh, you're gonna go for a ride, so. Let's see, let's see how Morsanza is planning to deal with that. Uh, right now, we're, we're basically even. And uh, a lot of food seeds are, are coming into play. Uh, the Warp tries to do a long-lasting hit of Nair just to get more security on having a punish, but it still doesn't work out for Morsanza, who is stuck in the air, gets F-tilted as well, having finally landed. But that was an excellent roll to take the stage back and get a counter hit in. And that back here beating every single move in the game. Uh, not even that up smash from Wolf, who usually wins uh, most most of the trades. Palutena will, Palutena, the players will definitely abuse that uh, invulnerability that they have on their moves. And right now, that threat with the back here. As the up tilt, though. Wolf will save it and save it until it's just an out of nowhere kill option. The shield looking tiny, but more salsa has just had the slightest lead all the way through this. Empty Cat is used to making comebacks though. Palutena not necessarily a comeback character. But Empty Cat as a player very used to it. And with that dash attack, you've almost completed it. Yeah, Final I think there, that was a bad DI from Morsalsa. We didn't get to see some red flashes. But Pretty bad grab as well, but it happens to the best of us sometimes. That is correct. They're carrying all the way off. Yeah, that's the more Celsa special. If you let him wolf flash back onto stage, he's going to do it eight times out of ten. I mean, eventually you'll get punished, but yeah, you, you definitely need to be aware of that, especially since that does make a lot of damage. Ooh, that air. Yeah, Morsalsa just focusing on holding the lead. Oh, 
doing it with a dash attack there as Forest Salsa. Having taken that 17%, it's been a real quiet spell for the MT Cat offense. There's an F tilt. Uh, Morse Salsa was waiting to see what option MT Cat would what, would pick. Oh. I think he got what he wanted with the neutral get up, but it didn't work out anyway. Morse Salsa, be careful, because if you get countered by Palutena's down B on one of the risky side Bs, you might just get exploded. Yeah, for a second one, got really scared. And the dash attack Fine. is going to take a good stuff from Morse Salsa taking game number one. Uh, this is what I expected from these two guys, some very solid neutral game, um, some reads now and then, but Morsalsa taking game number one, I'm excited to see what MT Cat is planning as a counter pick. I don't know if these guys even do stage counter picks anymore, if they've just been playing against each other for the last like three years, but it seems like they are having a good think about it anyway, so... I yeah, think in, overall, in the past, it's going to be one of the less influential uh, sets in terms of how status makes an impact. You know, it's, it makes a huge difference when there's Roy and Steve. That is true. Palutena versus Wolf, they can kind of go anywhere. Yeah, in the past, we've seen MC Cat uh, switch to the Sephiroth, switch to the Cloud when he's feeling that the Palutena is not doing the work. But right now, we see him stay with the Palutena. Get it started. Same music and everything back on Pokemon Stadium 2. They are jumping at each other, but they just don't hit the buttons. But now we do have the first attack. More Salsa again. I really feel he's got the overall set record. It's more in recent times when More Salsa has started to get ahead. But if he can do it at Cumbre 2, that's pretty much the biggest stake set. The biggest stake set that I, they can have in recent memory. I really like that uh, option that Morsalsa did getting out of the ledge. Just a very short, uh, short hop and then immediate uh, air dodge. Sort of like the spark away of getting out of the ledge. It's very hard to punish. Just using the maximum range of that F tilt as well to get some safe pressure in there. Now Morsalsa is in the lead, but it's not too comfy by any means until you get that back air. Reading the ledge jump, now Marcelsa feeling gratified. And I really like that nose. That is a jumpless wolf. Ooh, I wanted to see that downer there. And she cannot believe it. Anymore. So we carry on with the wolf bread and butter. Dash attack only off of that down throw, but duh, tries to go for a downer. Ooh, and a wolf it tries flash. to go with the side B again. Uh, need to be reflecting that or air dodging past it, but. Good explosive flame, nevertheless, from MT Cat to just spot out exactly where Marcelson is going to be. But still a deficit, and Palutena is going to have to play the slow game to bring it back. Oh, maybe a reverse right here. Ooh, that down air almost landing. Nice dash attack from MT Cat. By the way, I just looked up for Salsa versus MT Cat set count. It is 21 24. Oh, wow. In favor of yeah, MT that, is, that is a long history of. That is a long rivalry. Basically, find me a Costa Rican tournament where these two don't fight each other at some point. Well, we're, huh? Narrow it down for this year, says uh, QR. But there's the Wolf Flash. Just getting a bit of shield pressure in Empty Cat. Wasn't gonna uh, try and swing. Yep. But there we have a F tilt kill instead. Very interesting how Morsanza does that uh, that F tilt. He is he baits the the threat of the back there when when in the ledge. But when he sees it's going to be. Uh, get up the ledge option without jumping. He immediately turns and throws that F2, which is perfectly spaced uh, to the sweet spot and usually gets the kill. So, very good, sweet, very good stuff from Osaka. I think he's one of the best ledge trappers of the country. And uh, Wolves is a character definitely allows him to do that. And a nice rising there to 
not only get yourself further back into the stage, but take MD Cat with you with a big hit. Blaster Force Toss is an interesting one when it comes to the wolf lasers. He tends to use it quite a lot at higher percents and not so much at the lower percents. But down throw, not going to have any follow ups just yet, but if you get the ledge option covered, up air almost killing. Yeah, this ledge trap from Osiris, as we said before, is definitely paying off. Empty Cat is the one who's probably the most getting out of the list. And that is where Wolf is going to just rack up the damage and land one of those many kill moves that he has. Oh, whiff grab from Paladur. It's going to mean that Wolf for most also gets the back throw. I was just about to say how we were in damage range for that move to start killing pretty much anywhere from the stage. So Morsalsa, despite the close set record, already two games up, Empty Cat gonna look to find an answer. I'm not gonna worry too much about the possibility of him switching characters because I think when you've played somebody so many times, you already know at this point what your best option is, even if you're two games down. I mean, Empty Cat is a really special case though. Like, I feel like I've seen him change character in every single game three. Regardless That's if he'll win it or lose it, as he's doing right now. Okay, Empty Cat, if there was going to be a character switch, I at least thought it was going to be something like Byleth uh, or Lucina, but going Cloud. This Cloud was brought out earlier on to deal with uh, Romeo Santos's Steam, but it did go down in defeat despite doing better than his Palutena was doing in that match. But that's like, you know, Cloud is the closest thing we have to a Steam counterpick. Against Wolf, he's not like particularly advantageous. He's just, it's just good character versus good character. Ooh, almost got a good move. Really nice. Bread and butter by Wolf. 369%. That's going to be ruin. And that means it's going to be time for Empty Cat to use his limit or not. The decision is right now. In the next three seconds, he didn't use it. But still used the uh, movement speed buffs out of the limit quite a lot. So it wasn't exactly useless, but we'll get another one later, I'm sure. But for now, it's super, super close. Indeed, closer than the Palutena was going with more Salsa. Just worried if there might be some room for regret because you're eating that back air straight to the face. More Salsa potentially looking at a 3 0. The money maker from Rosalsa, he's not afraid of throwing that out in your face. And since they are so safe, he's willing to send them as much as he can. So, yeah, the cloud was paying off at the beginning of the game. Right now, it seems he's struggling to just lock on that stock. Good Nair, though, from Marcel to just catch a cloud who's obviously going to be in the air quite a lot to threaten with gigantic back airs and forward airs and such. Um, Marcel to knowing he was going to be there, but the double dash bag is also going to cover the ground it approaches right now. Can you make a use of limit? You don't have to yet. You've got the back air. Yeah, Morsal says smartly, he doesn't want to deal with that limit. He's going to stall as much time as he can on that, uh, you know, on that uh, upper platform. So, yeah, now you're dealing with a limitless cloud, which is much better to handle. Yeah, this is um, saying a lot as well, because Morsalsa had to be a second seed in his pool while MC Cat was a first seed, so had a much easier path to win a side. That's purely based on, for this particular event, MT Cat was valued slightly higher than Morsalsa, but yep. if Morsalsa gets, keeps getting these wins, it might be him as the fourth, uh, the top seed of a pool next time, while MT Cat might have to take a slightly tougher path. I, I think this is more of a head-to-head -head, uh, matchup, because I, personally, I do think that MT Cat has better uh, international results than Morsalsa, but locally, Morsalsa usually gets him, so that is what we're looking at right now. But last stock of the tournament potentially for MT Cat. You need to get rid of this wolf in front of your face right now. Otherwise, that will be it in seventh place. And there will be only one Costa Rican representative remaining. But great down air out of the jump. Yeah, that up smash that did not connect. Rosalza was already waiting for it. And that wolf output damage. I've been saying it all weekend, but... It's insane how he can just land a couple of aerials and you're somewhere around 30%, 40%. And Morsalsa has dozen points. However, that limit crush is like actually getting the suck. 
that's just the first part of the mission. You've got more salsa down to final stock. You need to recover 100%. Without dying to a, uh, a cloud gimp along the way, Wolf's Nair is always threatening for that one. Some very well-spaced blasters. But then you've got to find a kill afterwards. There is a lot to ask of Empty Cat right now. And then if you can win this, you've got to win another two games afterwards. Oh, Ooh, I like that. It, you know. I like that. Oh, the outfit is going to take it. And good stuff for Morsasa, actually. Moving on on the bracket, confirming what we were talking at the beginning of the game. He usually, uh, well, lately he's been getting most of the finals against Empty Cat. And um, yeah, he advances to uh, in the tournament. Uh, he will probably be fighting a stiff player if, I don't, if I'm not correct. Oh, we can get a check on that. I mean, it's probably not been decided yet. It will be based on who loses in winner's side. All right. But, uh, yeah, they would have Shiny Mark or 